and Clint stands over here to the side because she does not love him. No, no, no. She does not love him. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the Wild Huckleberry. On a cloudy day, you can see over here, you can kind of see that it's foggy over there, but it was super foggy early this morning. It was, uh, I mean, I looked out the back door, and my back door, you know, not a long distance over there to the trees, and uh, you couldn't really see the trees very well. You could see them, but it wasn't much. <clears throat> but uh, anyway, it's cleared off some. It's supposed to be 70 degrees today. It was about 39 this morning. Nice and chilly. I'm surprised. I guess I'm a little early this morning. And only, I only see two of the goats out right this minute. Of course, Thor's out. I hear them starting to talk to me up there. Here comes Miss Natasha. She's heard me. <laughs> She's going to come up here. Hi, Nat, baby. So, I'm going to get up here and feed these. Today's going to be a busy, busy day. I've already made my morning, my Saturday morning run to Walmart. And now I've got to go to town and get some chicken feed. I've got to get some <clears throat> dog food. And, uh, I've got to get, uh, I'm going to get a little something, I'll tell you about it later. Uh, it's a little something I'm going to try to do with the goat and cowpean today. And we're going to see how that works out, I don't know uh, exactly. I'm trying to figure out exactly how and where I want to do it. But I think it'll be pretty good. Uh, we'll see. I, I have a feeling it has its limitations, but I'll show you guys that in a little while. But that's going to be after um, coming back from Pax and Cleo's birthday party. Uh, there, of course, Cleo's birthday is in January, and Pax's birthday was uh, earlier this week. But still, uh, Luna, get out of that. That crazy girl. And uh, But it that's... Uh, part of it uh, having three kids all within a month of each other on birthdays so she's having uh, the, bir the birthday party for both of them today bounce houses and I mean the whole nine yards she's going all out for it and uh, so uh, I'm gonna do some work around here after that uh, I got a little running around to do this morning before I go help work on that. I'll show you a little bit of that because I think it'd be pretty cool with all the bounce houses and everything going on. So uh, anyway, I'm going to get busy, take care of these guys, and uh, just get ready for whatever is happening this weekend. We're going to be busy. Do you hear this girl? This little girl right here. She is Let's see if I can get in on her. She is the loudest, and she is one of my little ones. You hear her? <laughs> She's so loud. Tell me about it, girl. She says, I'm hungry. Come feed me now. So cute. All right. Well, everybody's getting excited, so let me get busy. Well, I was about to go to have to check on the chickens, I thought. Because I had not seen any of them so far. <clears throat> but I'm going to have to look at the door. I think it's off at the moment. Uh, it looks like it just opened up because they just came flooding out of the pen. So I think it just opened and they uh, just got out and it's an hour later than it's supposed to be open so I like them to get out early get out after daylight of course but all that's going to change next weekend don't forget that next Sunday morning the time changes It'll be March 10th right yeah 
time changes, so you'll have to spring forward. And uh, right now, did he put him? No. Lee. All right, I gotta take care of that, but I thought that the gate wasn't working, but it is open now. Let me take a look. Yep, see it's messed up again. It's blank. That means it's probably not gonna work just right. That's not good. I don't need it messing up, dadgummit. I need it working right. All right, well, I'm gonna give them some wormies this morning. Make them all happy. Cause they definitely love their wormies. Thank you, love. here I was gonna say I was gonna try to feed her by hand but she jumped down pretty sure that she would be more than happy to eat out of my hand <laughs> tell him about a thing too all right Got a pretty fresh bag of wormies there. Be glad when I can find them on sale again. <laughs> Hello, Thor. What's up, Bubba? Okay. All right, Lou. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go check on the rabbits. All right, guys. Well, I thought I would... I was going to show you a problem, but it turns out it's okay now. So I'll go. Thank you, Thing One. I'll go take care of my others now and get the chickens a little extra water. Tell me about it, girl. One of my pretty girls, and she sounds like she is fussing. So here at Pax and Cleo's birthday party. We have a couple of bounce houses. One's pretty simple. Just a bounce house. It's got the, the wall you climb up. You have the steps and a rope to, or a strap to hold on to. Sorry for the loud. That's the air. And then you slide down to there. And the other one is called the obstacle course for the older kids. And this one, you climb on, hi Cleo. You climb on through here and you got, <laughs> you got the tunnels to climb through. Once you get through the tunnels, had to go over this right here as you can see there you gotta you can go through it or you can go over the top and then you have these obstacles and then you have another wall to climb see it comes up and once again you slide down now this one is open-ended and that one's for smaller kids it gives them something to hit on but there you go we had pizza and cake so it was a fun time all right so here is my plan of what i'm going to do i have this area disked up right here and i'll show you right now me doing the disking on this we'll put it right here
now I'm gonna plant. And so we've got some crimson clover and some daikon radish. We're gonna try planting this out here. I would have liked to have planted some grasses, but uh, the only one that the local farm store had was uh, only came in 50 pound bags and it was over $300 for that. And I'm sorry, I cannot afford that. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll be able to, but right this minute, there's no way I can do that. So Lee and I are going to, the camera. Lee and I are going to uh, put this stuff out right now and spread it. And then I'm gonna run back over it one more time <laughs> with, the, uh, with the disc to kind of cover it up tickled as Lee walks back over there that little boy is playing on the disc he's having a good time I ran back over it again and did another little light disking on it to cover it up. I don't have a harrow or I would have just run that over with a uh, four-wheeler or something, but I have what I have, so I used that and I disked it back under it. And as wet as the ground is, that stuff should start coming up pretty quick. It's going to get stomped on a lot. The animals are going to walk all over it, but we will see how it works and uh, I'll keep you guys updated. I don't know what to think about these two. Look at them. <laughs> I guess her slobber tastes good. I don't know. <laughs> Look at her. They love that. That is so funny. And Clint stands over here to the side because she does not love him. No, no, no. She does not love him. And now he thinks he's going to go over here and pick on Nat a little bit. Which Luna does not care for at all. Oh, Lord. I cannot get over the relationship between these two. It's hilarious. Just a quick thought from the mind of Robbie. Probably not a place you want to be too often. But I brought this 2x4 up here with me. And I'm going to put it on the upper edge of the 1x4. So I should be okay to screw anywhere I need to right on the other side of it. So I will know where the 1x4 is running.
she is done. I have all the screws in there and I have all the lovely bits of sealer up there to try to stop all the leaking. Now, I will guarantee you, yep, that one I tried to stop. I see I didn't do a very perfect job on that one. It was large. I think I'll just seal it some from this side. See, I missed a little bit right there. I can always come under here and find some spots, but it's a lot better than it was. And I'm really hoping it won't leak from right back there. I hope I've got that all sealed up. I don't want it leaking down and have a chance on getting on the baby's hair. So, all right, well, I'm done. I got a thing to go to, a church thing to go to tonight. So I'm going to do that. And Clint says goodbye, everybody. <laughs>